Hi, I'm Gary Wubbers with Ascend Business Strategies, coach, trainer, speaker, and author. When you hear the word millennial, what do you think of? Now this group of people have been referred to many names, Gen Y, Echo Boomers, the Baby On Board Generation, Screenagers, Facebookers, and the MySpace Generation, to just name a few. Now by all accounts, millennials are unlike any other preceding generation. They view the world differently and have redefined the meaning of success personally and professionally. In some cases, this has led to misunderstanding among the different generations coexisting in today's workplace. Increasingly, however, business leaders are realizing this generation's unique competencies and perspectives, and employers are looking for ways to harness their strengths. That is why I am dedicating this entire month to helping us better understanding who the millennials are, what they want, and how they will change the workplace, what managers can do to lead them, and how they can help make them a millennial leader in your organization. Millennials have received a pretty bad rap from most people because they are different than any other generation in the workplace. The reality is, even though they are vastly different, that doesn't mean it is a bad thing. It is simply a generational perspective. Think of how adults in the 1950s must have, have felt about those young people coming up in the 1960s. The fact is, all generations are different and approach things in different ways. The real problem exists when people become closed-minded and look from only their preconceived notions and aren't open to possibilities. Let's look at five realities we need to understand in order to adjust and maximize the opportunities with millennials. Number one, millennials are digital natives. They are more technologically advanced and don't know of a time that wireless phones and internet didn't exist. We need to adapt to them where possible, their communication needs, learning habits, and their preferred methods of feedback. Number two, millennials grew up on teams. Millennials value equality in the workplace and in life. They are more likely to accomplish things on a team as they will resist going it alone and need more interaction with others. Number three, millennials grew up with the reality shows a virtual world, cyberspace, the blogosphere, and the digital universe. If you are going to lead them, you cannot be fake, and you must remain transparent and authentic. Number four, from a very early age, millennials have been programmed, scheduled, and committed. Not just committed to technology, but also committed to the cause they're connected to. If they are invested in what they are involved in, they will remain committed. Your millennial employees are looking for a consistent and reliable workplace that allows them ex to excel in being themselves. Number five, millennials are collaborators and they are wired to make things happen. Connect their desire to make a difference with your projects and you will have the employee engagement you desire from them. Millennials bring a great deal of distinct advantages with them as they enter your organization. Now the key is to open your mind on how they can be harnessed to create a win-win for your organization and the millennial worker. I've been working on writing a book the last several months and I'm putting the final edits on it this month. If you would like to receive a free PDF download of the 21 ways to attract retain and engage millennials, just follow the link and fill out your information. I will email you a copy when it is completed this month. Just think, you could learn 21 ways to engage, attract, and retain millennials in your organization. This generation will be the largest generation in the workforce in the next couple of years. Isn't it time you learn strategies that will help you and your team communicate and develop this generation? Thanks for joining me this week. 
Give of yourself freely. Love openly each day and make a difference in the world. Make it a great day. See you next week.